Hi everyone, I'm Arun Malve and welcome back to Good Shoes. We are diving into an exciting project, setting up a Proxmox based home lab for a Kubernetes cluster. If you are enjoying this tutorial so far and learning something new, take a quick moment to like, share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon. We'll be covering everything, hardware, networking, software and all other steps to bring this setup to life. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced home labber, this video has something for everyone. So grab a coffee, sit back, and let's build an awesome home lab. Let's name the project to the proxmox.draw.io. And we'll also rename the page to Proxmox Kubernetes. Right click, or you can click on the arrow up arrow and rename the page with Proxmox Kubernetes and hit the rename tab. Once it's completed, you should be able to see it at the bottom left corner. And once the page is up, I'm going to change the background color to white. What is Proxmox VE? It's an open source hypervisor that combines virtualization, containerization, and storage management under one roof. Why it's great for home labs. Web interface simplifies management compared to command line tools like KVM. Lightweight, minimal overhead, maximizing hardware performance and free and open source no license required unlike vmware as well so let me take the png file that's proxmox logo and update it with the name proxmox virtual environment setup and because proxmox is a community support active proxmox and Co Kubernetes communities. So this is a learning opportunity for us to great way to practice cloud native skills. And addition to that, I'm creating the home lab series. You can also check out the other videos from the playlist. So you get a complete overview and also help on setting up the home lab server step-by-step -step guide. I'm updating the font size and layout in draw.io to enhance the clarity of the project overview diagram. This ensures that all the elements such as Proxmox, Kubernetes, Logo, and the naming convention and the connections are easy readable. The goal is to provide a, a visual appealing and organized representation of the home lab setup by better understanding. So I'm going to add the Kubernetes logo to this project and update with the name Kubernetes cluster. So as we go through this, feel free to drop any questions in the comments. What are you excited to try with Proxmox and Kubernetes? There are a few advantages about this project is like resource allocation, uh, dedicated CPU RAM to each VM containers for Kubernetes nodes. And there is also snapshot and backups uh, with the Proxmox make it easy to snapshot your Kubernetes VMs. And it's also cost effective, open source and free tools for a professional grade setup. And because we're going to create a multi-node cluster with Proxmox can run multi-nodes for a resilient Kubernetes cluster. And because we are also building it with a high availability and backups, so it's a built-in support for snapshots and high availability. And also scaling like you can start small and scale within the virtual environment with the Proxmox. So let me ask you a question like, what do you want to achieve with Kubernetes in your home lab? Please drop your questions or comments below. So integration between Proxmox and Kubernetes, how it works. Proxmox virtual machines can be used to host Kubernetes master and worker nodes. Master nodes manage the cluster and worker nodes run the containerized application. Each node, Master and worker is deployed as separate VMs or containers in the Proxmox for modularization and isolation. There are few features like use Proxmox containers for lightweight Kubernetes nodes. So utilizing Proxmox clusterizing capabilities to manage multiple physical hosts for redundancy. So there is a use case as well when we're testing a production like or development like Kubernetes setup with multi-node cluster in a Proxmox environment. Let's take a scenario. You want to simulate a production grade or a development grade Kubernetes cluster on your home lab for development and testing. 
These are the steps you're going to follow, like deploy a Proxmox cluster with three physical servers, create a virtual machine in Proxmox, one virtual machine for control plane, that's master node, two virtual machines for Kubernetes worker nodes. Configure storage on Proxmox for shared persistent volumes. Install Kubernetes on the virtual machine using kube admin. Deploy a sample application like Nginx with persistent volume. Simulate failure scenarios by powering off on Proxmox hosting and observing how Kubernetes redistribution workloads. We're going to test this all steps in my next videos. Find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Good Shoes. Stay tuned for more tech tips and tutorials. See you in the next one.